Hi friends, welcome back to another week of writing workshop with Miss Julie. Today you're gonna to need several things. Number one, your binder, your writing journal, and now in the back of the writing section in your binder, you should have a little packet like this with a blank page on the front. Take that out of your binder. In your binder, I want you to find the page that says the writing process. It should be after your spelling dictionary. Over the past few weeks, we've been talking about going through the writing process with our summer stories. We planned it, we drafted it, we edited it, we revised it. Now we're ready to publish. This is so exciting. Your packet like this should be at the end of your writing section. Mine's already taken out. You can go ahead and take yours out now too. You'll also need your writing journal and a pencil. Grab those things, meet me back here. When we talk about publishing, we're talking about making our final copy that's ready for our audiences to read. So I've got my first draft here in my writing journal and I'm going to use this paper to make my final copy. I wanna make sure that I'm using pencil first so that way if I make any mistakes, I can erase it easily. This page is for my cover. And if I look at the cover of Owl Moon, I see the title is across the top in big letters. This story is written by and illustrated two different people. My story is written and illustrated by me. So I'm going to put my title, A Trip to the Beach, in big letters at the top. Remember that a title has many important words in it. So each important word in the title of your story should start with a capital letter. A trip to the, and if it doesn't fit all in one line, that's totally fine. I can come down here, beach. Notice I made it nice and big, just like in Owl Moon. And then down here at the bottom, I can say written and illustrated by Miss Julie. I made sure I used my best handwriting. If I made any mistakes, I can go back and fix it. Now I can do a sketch here. I think I'm going to sketch my friends and me at the beach. Remember, we're not gonna use stick figures. I'm gonna draw some faces. I'm gonna draw some waves in the background. Your job today is to design the cover of your summer story. There will not be other writing videos for this week because I'm gonna tell you right now your job for the rest of the week. I can finish my picture later. Your job for today though is just to finish your picture. Make sure you use crayon to color it in when you're done sketching so that it doesn't get go through the other sides. Okay, so today is Monday. I'm going to finish my cover. I might even take my black crayon and trace over my words so that it's really hard. It's really easy for my reader to see. And then on the cover of Owl Moon, the picture goes all the way to the edges. So I'm gonna take my, my sand and my waves all the way to the edge of my page. Here is your job for the rest of the week. On Tuesday, you're going to use your very best writing to write the beginning. I'm going to start again. I'm starting a new section, so I need that three finger space. I'm going to use my very best handwriting, it. And I'm going to make sure that if I fixed a word here in my rough draft, in my first draft of my story, that I'm making sure I'm fixing it here. I don't wanna make the same mistake twice. I know already that I fixed these things. I don't want to have to fix them again. 
it was, remember, best handwriting, a hot and sunny day. I got, oh, see, I've already made a mistake. I've left out my period. I need to go back and make sure that I'm paying attention to what I've already corrected. And I need to also notice that when I'm putting things, when I went back and revised and added details, I need to make sure that I include them in the correct spot here too. I got in my car and headed, best handwriting, down river. Oh, see, I did it again. I made it a little R. I've got to pay attention capital R because it's the name of the road, River Road. Now today is Tuesday. I'm going to just do the beginning part of my story on this page. And when I'm done, I'm going to do a really detailed picture. Maybe I'm going to draw my car going down the road. Maybe I'm going to draw me and my friends in the windows. on our way to the beach. Now on Wednesday, on Tuesday, I'm going to finish all of this, the, be the beginning part of my story, a colored picture in crayons. On Wednesday, there's a back page here if you need to, but on Wednesday, I'm gonna do the middle part. So the middle part of my story says, my friends, were waiting and see oh look at me i remembered that i spelled it wrong the first time and i had to go back and fix it so i made sure i spelled it right for me to get there and then here i've got I've got some things I've got to put in. Those quotation marks for dialogue. You're here. Miss K shouted. And just like I did on Tuesday, on Wednesday, I'm going to write the whole middle section. I've got a back page if I need it to and I'm going to draw a very detailed picture. Maybe I wanna put some speech bubbles, but I'm gonna fill up the whole space with pictures and color about what happened in the middle of my story. So can you guess what we're doing on Thursday? If you guess writing the end, you are absolutely correct. So the end of my story starts finally. Finally, it was time to go home. Now I'm going to probably draw a picture of me and my friends packing up our things and getting our shoes and our towels and getting ready to leave. Throughout the week this week, there will be some Zoom spots open for you to pop in and ask any questions but I feel like you probably have a really good idea of what you need to do for the entire week. I want this to be your very, very best second grade work. Make sure that you've got everything as neat as can be and color and details and labels. And if you fixed it in your first draft and you made corrections because you knew something wasn't spelled right or didn't look right, make sure you fix it in your final draft too. We will have some time on Friday to share these stories with each other. I can't wait to hear them. See you then.